I can build my Nigeria, my little Africa, my place for my people to know who they are and create actually a temple to their own liberation. Explore yourself, explore your consciousness, explore your talent, explore your imagination. Imaginative spaces. Black theater is, it's been holding our story forever. It's been black theater. That's been the place of imagination. What is powerful about MBT and what's powerful actually about this whole evening, if someone wants to chart it, is that it's charting through soul. It's charting to navigate through soul. And I think that when we think about someone like June Jordan, we think about someone like Dr. Barbara Antier, we think about the, the building itself, uh, this building of the future. I think that we're having a conversation with women birthing society into a new space of saying this is what wholeness can look like if you walk through my doors. I think it's just something really beautiful to think about NBT as a river. And I was thinking about it like NBT is an ocean or a lake. NBT absolutely is a cosmology. There is something about the moving water of a river. You come in, you get the medicine you need, you stay a while if you choose, or you come in and get what you need, and you leave. But the idea is that the water is never the same, but it all has a source. The building of the future is hoping to hold us as humans, as a cultural human hoping to hold black culture in the space of its root, in a home that has been its mecca, and thinking of innovative ways to bring our community closer to loving itself every single day. She wanted to be a vessel, to be able to reflect back the God inside of us, to learn to love ourselves more deeply because she knew we could unleash the liberatory power of our ancestors to create the unimagined future where all things were possible. I think the most understated thing is that we need to show up for each other in real time. We need to show up for the National Black Theater every day because whether or not that space was open, the, the, the voices were still saving us every day. It is not about our song or just our dance. It is not about our story. It's about the expansive, every single color and blackness exists in the body of a black person, so we should be everywhere. The thing I want to say is that black was never exclusionary, blackness is never exclusionary, and that we are all implicated in building the better world.